I am so sorry for looking so awful. I decided to record this video like five seconds ago. So that's why I'm looking like this. It is Sunday night and I'm in the mood for doing something different today. And um, I'm going through some life changes. I am no longer going to live in this apartment. It's a very long story. Maybe I'll share it with you later. I don't know yet. But in the meantime, I need to get rid of my bookshelf because I'm moving. And the place that I'm moving to, I cannot have this bookshelf. And I remember somebody commented um, asking if I could show all of the books that I own. So I'm going to do that tonight. I am going to show you the books that I own or most of the books that I own because I've got some that I've lent out so I don't have them. I have others in another space um, in my apartment. So we'll see where it takes us. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you want me to tell you what's going on in my life and the big changes that are about to happen. Let's get to it. Okay, so please disregard that i had to put my decorations elsewhere i already packed everything that was there so i just put it there also let me just show you my little ghost funko pups i'm only missing one but it's been hard to get it and with the price of the dollar right now honestly i don't know when i'm gonna get papa one anyways i am going to show you my first shelf my first shelf is odd it's a combination of Benjamin Lacombe uh, books. Benjamin Lacombe is an illustrator and some horror-ish, I guess, uh, books. So let's get started. Oh, The Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. Carmen. Macabre Tales, Volume 2. And Macabre Tales, Volume 1. Our Lady of Paris, or Our Lady of Notre Dame, I don't know which is the actual name in English, I'm sorry. Curiosities. This one is El Herbario de las Hadas, I don't think it has a translation in English yet, so sorry. And this is Witches and Charms, and the Genealogy and the Grimoire of the Witch, all by Benjamin Lacombe. House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski, Faust by Goethe, Aura by Carlos Fuentes. Two collections of Edgar Allan Poe tales in English and in Spanish. Dracula by Bram Stoker. La Juguetería Mágica by Angela Carter. And to the complete works of H.P. Lovecraft. Moving on, we are continuing with the supernatural slash witchy bookshelf. So on the left side, we've got like actual like theory and history of witchcraft. I don't know, it just, it, it's really appealing to me. And over here, we've got fiction. Irish Fairy and Folk Tales, Barnes & Noble Edition, Witches by Rosalind Shanzer, three different books about Nordic runes, The Modern Guide to Witchcraft by Sky Alexander, Wicca, A Guide for the Solitary Practitioner by Scott Cunningham, Ghosts and Witches Encyclopedia by Hans Holzer, A Vintage Book About Elves, A Guide to the Egyptian Tarot, and The Fairy Handbook. How to Hang a Witch by Adriana Mather, The Familiars by Stacey Halls, The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw, The Merciless by Danielle Vega, The Witches of Black Book by Tish Thor, A Secret History of Witches by Louisa Morgan, El Vals de la Bruja by Belen Martinez, Toil and Trouble, 15 Tales of Women in Witchcraft, edited by Jessica Spotswood and Tess Sharp, The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Leroux, Witch Child by Celia Rees, The Witching Hour by Anne Rice, and the All Souls Trilogy, which is A Discovery of Witches, Shadow of Night, and The Book of Life by Deborah Harkness. Moving on to our next shelf, we've got fantasy and dystopia. I don't have a lot of it because it's not my favorite genre, 
but I still got some really, really cool books here. Also, we're gonna come back to Harry Potter. I'm gonna mention it just because it's there and I gotta, you know, put it away, but we're gonna go back to Harry Potter in a while, okay? Three Dark Crowns by Candor Blake. Furthermore by Tahara Mafi. The Forgotten Book by Merchild Glasser. I have no idea. I'm so sorry I butchered that name. The Red Queen series, which is Red Queen, Glass Sword, King's Cage, and War Storm by Victoria Aveyard. The Remnant Chronicles trilogy, which is The Kiss of Deception, The Heart of Betrayal, and The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson. Every Hearted Doorway by Shannon McGuire. And Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. Okay, these two shelves over here are like so low, so it's really hard to film. So I'm just going to put them up here and show you the books. But basically, this is classic male authors. And then we've got like history slash historical fiction, mostly about Tudor age because I love it. Hi, editing me. I just wanted to jump in to say that if you see that like my library or like my bookshelves look like chipped at the bottom, it's because they are. Because my cousin had a bunny who sometimes used to stay with me and she would eat my bookshelf. So I'm sorry it looks like very crappy. I've had that bookshelf for years, like decades, and it's looking crappy and dusty and this is future me or like present me i don't know however you want to look at it and i got rid of uh that bookshelf because it was looking gnarly so i just wanted to like i don't know just apologize on behalf of my bookshelf juego de reinas by sarah christwood the medici by matteo strugel to who was books of henry the eighth and marie antoinette the white queen by philippa gregory a Brief History of Tudor Age by Jasper Ridley. Fatal Throne by Candace Fleming. The Autobiography of Henry VIII by Margaret George. Catherine of Aragon and Anne Boleyn from the Six Tudor Queen series by Alison Weir. A Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. The Illustrated Man, Something Wicked This Way Comes in Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. Animal Farm by George Orwell. The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Dante's Divine Comedy, Les Miserables by Victor Hugo, and Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. Okay, these two shelves, I'm going to do it at the same time, and I'm also going to be putting them here because I've got all my piles of books over here, so it's getting a little bit cramped up. But this is basically women's fiction and some female classic authors. Also, I'm missing my Jane Austen collection, which is supposed to be here because I was making a post a couple of days ago about my love for Jane Austen. So we'll go to it later. Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. And The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. Hi, editing me again. I just wanted you to know that after recording this video over the holidays, I also purchased Withering Heights by Emily Bronte. So now I have one novel of each of the Bronte sisters. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. A collection of women's quotations, some poems from Emily Dickinson, and some poems from Maya Angelou. Slightly different setting, but this is a collection of female empowerment and feminism. So we got The Second Sex by Simone de Beauvoir, My Own Story by Emmeline Pankhurst, The Vindication of the Rights of Women by Mary Wollstonecraft, The Beauty Myth by Naomi Wolf, and A Room of One's Own by Virginia Wolf, The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson, and The Awakening by Kate Chopin, Revolutionary Witchcraft by Sarah Lyons, Yes Please by Amy Poehler, Literary Witches by Taisia Kitaiskaya and Katie Horan, and Becoming by Michelle Obama. Persuasion, The Jane Austen Handbook by Margaret Sullivan, Two Beautiful Editions of Northanger Abbey, One Beautiful and One Meh Edition of Pride and Prejudice, Emma, 
this beautiful coloring book of quotations from Jane Austen and a very old Barnes & Noble edition of Jane Austen Seven Novels. Over here we have the thriller mystery books. I don't have a lot because I read them more in like a digital version, but these are all pretty cool. I recommend them all, except for our Belzar. I haven't read it, so. And I didn't finish Into the Water, so never mind. Anyways, these these four are pretty cool. This one is also really good. I was going to put it in the um, historical fiction-ish, whatever, part of my bookshelf, but it didn't fit. And I felt like it fit better here, so yeah. The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. Belzar by Meg Wolitzer. Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hartcastle by Stuart Turton. Night Film by Marisha Pessel. The Maidens by Alex Michaelidis. And The Wife Upstairs by Rachel Hawkins. This is my retelling shelf. I am missing some books because I've lent some and the others are in the pile of books that I've acquired recently, which we will see later. This is one of my favorite, I don't know if I have to call it genre because it's also like fiction. This is more of like historical fiction. These, this is historical fiction. This is retelling. I don't know. I don't know how to call it. I just call it my retellings, but they are so good. Ophelia by Lisa Klein, My Contrary Mary, My Lady Jane, My Plain Jane, and My Calamity Jane by Cynthia Han, Brody Ashen, and Jody Meadows, The Song of Achilles, and Circe by Madeline Miller, and Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. Over here we've got my YA section. It's pretty small because I don't really read YA anymore. I've gotten rid of a lot of books. Actually, other books and part of my mess. But some of the other books from my YA section ended up um, as stands for my candle bottle holders things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so ta-da, some of them are there. Sorry. <laughs> Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. The To All the Boys trilogy by Jenny Han, which is To All the Boys I Loved Before, P.S. I Still Love You, and Always and Forever, Lara Jean. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin of the Year of Science. The Truth About Forever and Once and For All by Sarah Dessen. And To Can Keep a Secret by Karen M. McManus. All right, this one is my second to last shelf in this bookshelf. And we've got romance and feel good books. I am missing a couple of books as you can see over here. I'm missing The Unhoneymooners and I'm missing like a couple of Frederick Buckman books. One of them is in my recent purchases even though it's a reread and the other one is A Man Called Ove which I lent to my mother and she still hasn't read it so mom what the hell. I'm here to give an update. My mom already finished A Man Called Ove and then we watched the movie with Tom Hanks, which is called A Man Called Otto. I don't know why they could have been called him Ove, but whatever. And we cried so much. 100% recommend both the book and the movie. Okay, bye! My grandmother asked me to tell you she's sorry by Frederick Buckman. This, as an audiobook, is so good. Totally recommend it as an audiobook. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Next Year in Havana by Chanel Clayton. Book Lovers, and Bitch Read by Emily Henry. The Road Trip by Beth O'Leary. The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. Hyperbole and a Half by Ali Brosh is a graphic novel, which is home to some of the best memes for millennials ever, as well as her second book, Solutions and Other Problems. All right, this is the last shelf on this bookshelf, and this is just like a mixture of things. I, I don't know how to call it. I guess in Spanish, I would say it's a salpicón. So yeah, let's get to it. The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. Breakfast Journal by Kara Smith. It's an amazing coloring book. 
Let me know if you would want me to create a series where we just do for every video a page or two from Wreck This Journal. I would love to do it and it would be something different and cool. So uh, I don't know, comment down below if you would like me to do a series on this journal. WTF Situations The Book Thief by Marcus Zuzek Nervous Conditions by Tsitsi Dangarenka Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami El Olvido Que Seremos by Hector Abal Faziolince Lords of Chaos by Michael Moyniham and Didrik Soderlind And finally, Cien Años de Soledad by Gabriel Garcia Marquez All right, here, there are my recent purchases. I am about to show them to you. Some of them I've already read. Others I haven't yet, and hopefully I'll get to them soon because they're a lot. Halloween Party by Agatha Christie. Brit Marie Was Here and Anxious People by Frederick Buckman. Anatomy by Dana Schwartz. Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. Two books from Martha Waters' Regency Vow series, To Marry and to Metal and To Love and to Loathe. Just Haven't Met You Yet by Sophie Cousins. Ariadne and... Electra by Jennifer Saint. This book about tarot. Pandora's Jar, Women in the Greek Myths by Natalie Haynes. And A Far Wilder Magic by Alison Saft. All right, sorry if my camera is super shaky. Also, sorry for the dust, but I'm not gonna clean it if I know I'm taking them out. So these are books that I either used for teaching or when I was studying in Amsterdam when I was living there or if they're about like a certain theory or like literary criticism. So obviously like I'm standing here on my tippy toes so I'm not gonna be able to like get them and whatever but we have The Mad Woman in the Attic by Sandra Gilbert and Susan Gubar. We've got The White Man's Guide to White Male Writers of the Western Canon by Dave Dana Schwartz, illustrated by Jason Adam Katzenstein. We've got Mythology by Edith Hamilton. It's a super cool guide. We've got Mother Goose Tales and this book of Shakespeare's plays. Oh shit. Uh, by the British, British Council. This was given to me by a Shakespeare author. He wasn't an author. He was a Shakespeare actor. Sorry. Called William. I don't remember what was his last name. Whatever. But they are the... They are Shakespearean sonnets. And I don't know. I just think that it's pretty cool. And they are annotated. We've got the annotated... Shakespeare sonnets and poems. And then we've got some of Shakespeare's other plays, Macbeth, Othello, Romeo and Juliet, Anthony and Cleopatra, Richard III, A Midsummer Night's Dream, which is my favorite, The Taming of the Shrew. We've got these book of quotes um, that you can do or that you can use as you read Wonder by J.R. Palacio. And then obviously we've got here the whole Harry Potter, well, I'm missing, I'm missing uh, the Order of the Phoenix because I used it for my Halloween costume because I was Luna Lovegood. And we've got James of the Giant Peach by Roald Dahl. We've got uh, The Canterville Ghost by Oscar Wilde and The Soul Bird by Michael or Michal Snunit. I don't know. You guys, I keep forgetting to make outros whenever I'm recording videos. So that's why you're seeing me again in my editing mode. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I bought some books over the holidays and I don't know if you guys would like me to do like a mini book haul and explaining um, the books I bought and what they're about, maybe why I decided to buy them. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. And remember that if you really enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. I promise, I know I say this all the time, but I promise I will start posting more often. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!